Rostislav Nashrov is officially back. Last episode, we set the stage for the 2023-2024 season, and it is shaping up to be a good one. Rusty is going to carry my hometown team, the Columbus Blue Jackets, to their first ever Stanley Cup. Now, let's just say our first episode got off to a bit of an interesting start as we had a run-in with the Blue Jackets coach. I'm going to lift a Stanley Cup with the Columbus Blue Jackets. I can promise you that. Looking quite dapper with the suit. Wait, Wait, what is this? What is this cutscene? Let me see your phone and toss your camera roll on the big screen so I can get to know you? What in the world did they do to be a pro? But hopping into our first preseason game, Rusty was the hero, scoring the game-winning goal with just seconds on the clock. Look at this guy! Just look at this man right here. This is a man that is ready for battle because today we are fighting for a roster spot here on the Blue Jackets. Looking through the schedule, we have a few preseason games that we need to finish up. So what we're going to do today is take on the Pittsburgh Penguins in a preseason battle. After that, we are going to sim to October 10th, which is today, the start of the NHL season and see if Rusty has made the team. But before that, we have something very important to address. In our last episode, we selected our normal number 61 not realizing that number is retired with Rick Nash and the Blue Jackets. Today, we must say goodbye to our beloved number. Okay, yeah, this, this isn't as exciting as anticipated here. We're just scrolling. Oh, okay, 16 is our final number, and Rusty is looking clean. I don't even care what number we are. 60 was just not it. 16, a good-looking number. Hopefully, we can actually earn it. As you can see in the top right, we are still a 66 overall. Yes, we had a decent first game, but once we get into the actual season with actual nhl rosters this is going to be a struggle so we'll continue to work our way up the skill tree i think today we're going to put a little bit of focus on our dangling as i could not do anything in that first game so we will activate soft hands and let's get some passing going as well both of those combined bumped us up actually we are now a 67 overall so that's a w so let's go ahead and sim through the next few games, take on the Pittsburgh Penguins, and see where we end up. Let's get it. Okay, we do have to have a discussion with Coach first. Babcock is gone. Confirmed. We have Coach Hayden Para. He says, hey, Nashrov, you know you are delivering. Keep up the good work, okay? I don't want to have any doubts when placing you on the team. Dude, I am absolutely buzzing. I scored the game-winning goal. What more could you want from me, Coach? Haha, -ha, I know. Dude, this coach is something. Okay, so a 4-2 loss versus the Islanders, a 5-3 win a 4-1 win. Hey, Nashrov, you're doing great. As I always say to players like you, don't get too cocky. Being overconfident, being overconfident is my fuel. Coach knows that. All right, coach knows that. So our record here for the preseason thus far is 3-2-0. We have a big game versus the Penguins, and I hope they got their full lineup in here. Let's hop into the game and see what we can do. Okay, looking at the lineup, they have stacked it up. They do have Crosby, they do have Carlson, they do have Gensel at the very least. So this is going to be a battle, especially with our 67 overall. Here we go. We're going into a sold out barn for the Pittsburgh Penguins preseason game. They even handed out glow sticks to each and every fan for a preseason game. That is how seriously they are taking this. Okay, so they have their full roster, but it looks like we're bringing in most of our roster as well. I'm playing alongside Boone Jenner here. I'm assuming on line two or three. And also we do have Rusty with the number 16. Not gonna lie, the 16 actually does look pretty good. Great poke check there from rusty as our defenders are trying to just throw this game away let's go robinson okay we're gonna play nice and smart hockey today peak has decided to play offense for some reason so peak is just gonna go for a little skate top left that's on me that's on me moral of the story we have got to be a good teammate we also have to take much quicker shifts last last episode i'm not gonna lie i was on the ice for 10 minutes at a time we're gonna be smart today make sure we get on coach's good side okay one more rush we're gonna get this puck out of the zone we're gonna get off the ice Nice poke, Russ. I don't know why. I'm actually not center, but I'm kind of playing the present. Okay, we are getting some power play minutes. We're with Johnny Hockey and Kent Johnson. Okay, Rusty is finally getting some respect out here. Sure, it might only be for... Oh, yeah, we're going to have 15 seconds and zero rushes up the ice. But we are out here with the fellas. Let's go, Rusty wheels. Rusty with wheels. Inside. Woo. Let's go! How we earn respect on this team. Rusty finds a way with his 67 overall and his 70 speed. He burns by a defender. And this one just, it barely trickles in. I try to do that protect puck. I think we actually, 
We might have shot that with one hand on our stick even. And it just barely crosses the goal line. But a goal is a goal nonetheless. Dude, this is low-key goal of the year from Rusty. He doesn't even get his second hand on the stick. Chops the puck towards the net. It bounces off a skate and goes in. A greasy goal, but a hardworking goal. I don't know how we keep finding the net with, with this guy right here. Like, I, I'm not even lying. I feel so slow. I can't stick handle. I can bait... What a save! Yep, we're gonna go for a skate again. I, I'm just burning him to the outside. Same shot. Yep. Okay, no, no rebound attempt. You gotta, I mean, you gotta think you have a rebound attempt there, but apparently not. I also need, I also feel like I need to earn our center position. Like, I do want to be that. Okay, that's what it's gonna be like playing against Sidney Crosby. He's just gonna literally no look flick of the wrist wax it towards the nest and it snipes off the bar and in no one stepped up if you're not going to step on up on Sidney crosby the puck's going to go into the back of the net you would think as you know a 67 overall in the preseason that i wouldn't have to be the one that carries my team to victory each and every game an injury in the preseason boys we have been seeing the biggest hits i have ever seen in preseason hockey this year. Yeah, send send some thoughts and prayers out for uh, Raquel down there. And, and maybe for, for Provorov as well. Very unfortunate. Okay, we are up. What a clear! Rusty, hey, Rusty's a defensive mastermind, boys. Offense, defense, this is the guy that's going to put this team on his back. I'm getting off the ice and we're, we're, we're not going to be a minus here. Okay, I can't get off the ice. Boys, I'm trying to get off the ice. We're off the ice. That's, hey, that's not a minus on me. I tell you what, I just, you could feel the energy was shifting and I'm going to be a little bit selfish here at the start of the year. I just need to have good stats myself. I'm off the ice coach. That's not on me. That is not on me. <laughs> Dude, I've been playing be a pro for too long. You just, you know when stuff's going to happen before it happens. We're down 2-1, plenty of time left. Let's carry this team to victory yet again. We're going to try to go, let's try to go for a booming hit here. Okay, I'm, I'm sitting back here just ready to, ready to go. Boom! Oh! <laughs> Okay, okay, we just need a little wind up. And okay, Boone, Boone, after all that hype, Boone just takes it right offside. Sick. Our penalty kill has been struggling tonight. Can you kill this one for us? We'll kill this penalty and I'll score short. Hey, okay, let's chill, Rusty. Let's chill. I was going to be smart. We'll take the smart answer. Trying to stay on coach's good side here for a minute. We got to do that yellow Eastern synergy, though. Holy. And you know what? Oh my, hold on a second. We might just be able to score here. Rusty with wheels. Little spin-o. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> I should have taken that from coach. Ew. Rusty with the spin-o. Finds the open space. And what is up with these trickle goals today? We're not even shooting the puck well. It's just taking weird bounces and finding the back of the net. What a move from Rusty. What a finish. Coach is absolutely fired up. So the snapshot goal is a plus one for our PK unit. It, uh, coach, I think I, I think I know that. I, I think. Hey, thanks, coach. Okay, hey. I tell you what, this team's buzzing a little bit. Texier gets a power play goal. We are now with 3-2. We're jumping off the ice at the perfect time. We just get the puck handed to us. And we hand it right back to them. Okay, big hip checks. Big hip checks and a Michigan are what we go. Oh! <laughs> Is that Sidney Crosby? Sit. Oh, if they scored a goal right after I do that. Oh my gosh, dude. Sit down, Crosby. Let's get this puck out of the zone. <laughs> oh my. Oh, we're going again. Okay, no, we're not. All right, big hip check is out of the way. Sidney Crosby has taken a seat and probably is out for the rest of his career after that hit. Now all we have to do is score Michigan and this will be the greatest episode of Be A Pro that we have ever had. And we're going to take a smart line change. All right, take a smart line change. I don't know how I'm at a C overall. I I'm literally the heart and soul of this entire team. Oh my, did you see that jump? What was that animation from Gensel? Dude, that was one of the craziest catches that I've ever seen. Okay, we are back here out on the PK again. Rusty just putting his life on the line to block these shots. And Tarasov coming through with a huge save as well. Let's go, Terry. Okay, so we go to the end of the second period here, and we are still up one. Now, this, this has been an absolute clinic. I know we're in Pittsburgh right now, but these fans, they better be entertained by what Rusty is doing. It is a 3-2 hockey game. We almost injured their captain for the entirety of the season. We scored a nasty spin move. We scored another trickle goal. We're buzzing right now. Let's keep this moving. I need to score a hat trick so we can see the hats flying. Obviously, you know, there's not going to be too many. Oh, we need to bench somebody too. Oh, Rusty, 
I see light little bump. Hold on, he fights through it. Behind the net. Mishy. Good bump. Good bump. It's going to be so hard to do this with our overall. Look at this break in. I'm going to... Yep, we'll send that back. Great keep. Great keep. Boom. Oh, good looks. Good looks. Hey, we're starting to look like a team a little bit out here, boys. Dude, every time the pressure bar is almost full, I get taken off the ice. I just want, I want to be out there for one full pressure. We just haven't had the chance yet. Eight and a half minutes here, and I'm telling you right now, we are not going to overtime again. Last episode, we were the hero. This episode, we're going to be the hero again. There's not going to be an OT. We're just going to ice this game right here. Short side. I thought he was going to come off his post, dude. Oh, let's go again. Here we go. Spinner. Uh, spinner. Almost, dude. I, 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 I'm, maybe I'm utilizing the spin move a little bit too much. We've had a little bit of success with it, and now it's like the only move that I do. So we got to be a little bit smarter with that. Okay, I'm going to get off the ice early just so we can have the last shift of the game. I should still get another shift, hopefully. Six and a half minutes. Let's see what happens here. Okay, perfect time. We are going to have our last shift of the game. Maybe we just stay out here for the rest of the game. Two minutes, one goal lead. Let's go. Nothing crazy here, fellas. Nice save there, Terry. I'm going to just play at my point. We got to trust our... Trust our... Okay. I mean, I go in there. I, I'll take the center roll myself because Boone Jenner is just throwing this game away. Boone, what are you doing? One minute left here, boys. I'm playing like we have to win this game for me to get my roster spot. Nice shot. We'll go up here. Grab this puck. Pin, pin. Not, okay, no, no pin. Screw it. I'm staying out here for the rest of this game. They've got an empty netter. We have a chance for a Hattie empty netter goal here in the preseason. Nice save there by Terry. I'm going to play a little bit lower. Terry! Oh! This guy is on another level today. He's fighting for his roster spot too. And of course, we get pulled off the ice. Boys, you can already see what's going to happen here, right? 25 seconds left. There is no doubt about it. We are going to overtime. Boys, I don't have to, I don't have to say. That's it. Wow. The script, boy. There is a script in Beer Pro. I don't know. I, listen, if this, if you guys don't believe it, fine. But the amount of things that I called that happened the instant lit afterwards is far too high at this point. It is not a coincidence. We're tied at three. We, we might not even make it to OT. Let's see. I just, I have to sit on the bench and watch our poor coaching decisions. Five seconds left. Three two one more shot no shot and we are going to overtime here we go fellas well last episode we were the hero and didn't let the game go to ot this episode we're gonna be watching three on three overtime from the bench could you imagine that oh it's game game come on kent johnson that just has to be a goal man if Rusty's out there on that same breakaway, it is going into the back of the net 100 out of 100 times. Here we go again. Hold on. Bang. Now, the question is, have we earned a spot in overtime at all? Or is he just going to keep this line uh, out on the ice for the entirety of this OT? <gasps> Another B-way! <gasps> uh, he did the same exact move. The same exact move that Kent Johnson did is, is what Johnny just did. And that's two breakaways in a row that have been missed. When do you get Rusty out on the ice, coach? Nice save there by Terry. Two minutes. We're still not standing up, I don't think. Goal. Yep, there it is. You can, you can feel it coming. I, I cannot believe that this is a loss. And I, you know what else is going to be horrible? Coach is going to blame this game on me somehow after this game. I go out here. I put my life on the line. I'm laying out. I'm blocking shots. I'm throwing Sidney Crosby... 30 feet into the air. I'm scoring back-to-back -back banger goals, and I don't get to sniff the ice in overtime. That is how this is going to go this season, huh? I know it's just the preseason. I know it doesn't matter, but a loss is a loss, and we're going to end up hurting for that. Well, let's go to the locker room and see what coach has to say. It is time to sim to the start of the regular season. We'll see if Rusty makes the roster. We'll see where we are on the roster. Tough 4-3 loss to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Yep, it's a little quiet walking into the locker room today. Understandably so. Obviously not the result we wanted. Also, how am I a C-plus overall? Like, what did I do wrong on team play there? I feel like I was getting off the ice early, playing smart. We have one last preseason game versus the Flyers that we're going to sim, and then it is showtime. So I'm just going to go ahead and sim to opening night here for the Columbus Blue 
Jackets. Let's see what goes down and see if Coach has something nice to say. You better have something nice to say. I tell you what. Okay, we're going to find out what our roster looks like on opening night. Rasta Slob, the preseason is over and you have knocked it out of the park. You made it on the final roster. There we go, Coach. All I need is nine points in two games. And I did make it onto the second line as well. We will take that. Amazing news, Coach. I was made for this. Things will only get tougher, so be prepared. I'm more than ready. Let's go, Coach. Hey, that's the first smart decision you've made in your career, putting me on the second line. And we are at the midway mark of the second line there as well. A solid start. So this is a big storyline decision for us. I think this determines what X factors we get down the line. I won't let you down, Coach. I'll show you I can be an asset on this team. So we have got our Spinorama X factor, which is going to help us with the spin moves even more. And I think this set the tone for what we're going to get down the line. Also, can we just mention how the locker room in this scene is completely different than the locker room that we saw? saw in the first episode kevin perez is here on twitter and says i can't wait to see nash rob in action my fave new player no doubt oh let's go kev thanks for the message kev i appreciate you buddy there's a new star in town oh the fans love rusty okay and we also got magnetic from that or we're on the road to magnetic so that's a good x factor for us too so there we have it rostislav nash rob is ready for opening night we are on the second line of the columbus blue jackets and we are set to carry this team to a stanley cup obviously the coach is going to make some questionable decisions along the way but we just have to persevere all right we're playing for our teammates we're playing for ourselves let's go out there and put on a show be a pro we'll continue next episode with our opening game versus the philadelphia flyers if you guys are enjoying be a pro with rostislav nasharov hit the video with a like hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 1 million subscribers and i'll see you guys next time peace